Okay, here we go. It's Monday Mocha Mix. Mo marketing, marketing Mocha Mix Monday. <laughs> I'll get used to the names of these. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're dropping some valuable video in here to help contractors connect with more homeowners in their local market. And today, we're going to be pretty, pretty precise with a strategy, okay? Um, I learned a long time ago from the great Jay Abraham that strategies are fantastic and they'll help you win, right? There's tactics within strategies to help you reach that goal and that target. But the strategy that we're going to discuss today is a marketing strategy, and we call it the Welcome Home Program. What does that mean? So I like to tell stories, so I'll tell you a story. Two years ago, we bought this home over here in Lighthouse Point down in South Florida. Now, I'm from South Florida, and I've been in the contracting space for a really long time, and I have a ton of connections. So let's back up. When somebody buys a home, whether they're from a particular area, or whether they've moved into an area where they know no one, one of the first things that they start doing is making that honey-do list. And the honey is do this, and honey is do that, and honey is do this, and honey is do that. Right? Like we buy these homes, whether it's brand new or not, there's things that we're going to do to personalize the home and or fix it to get it up to speed, right? So we bought this home, and we immediately had a huge laundry list of things that we needed to do. Some of which, because I was a contractor at one point in my life, had a home service business, I can do a lot of this stuff. However, I didn't have the time to do it. So I kind of made two lists. What can I do? And what do I have time to do? And what do I need to hire out for? So here's my point. When somebody buys a home, it doesn't matter if it's new or if it needs some help. When they buy a home... They make a list of things they want to do. So, from a contracting perspective, if you're in the home service industry, which you probably are because you're here at the contractor coffee shop, wouldn't it be great if you could target with this strategy these particular people that buy the home? Right? This guy's got a list. He's got things that he needs to do. So... The Welcome Home Program gets you in the mailbox. That's a mailbox here. So Welcome Home Program is an automated postcard service where you are nurturing, developing a list, and communicating with these people to say, hey, welcome to the community. We solve for this particular problem. We're here to help. Okay? The Welcome Home Program. Target people that buy homes in your zip code area specifically with this strategy and this tactic. This is a targeted marketing approach. Target your market to people that just bought a home. Now why would you want to do this? Well, here's back to my story. I needed a plumber because we had a clog in one of the toilets. I know people in the plumbing industry. However, I wanted to hire somebody local that I could develop a nurture relationship with. We started getting some postcards in the mail. I think it was the value pack. And one particular postcard kept showing up. And I don't know what it was and what the offer was and what the call to action was, but it was good enough for me to remember their name and call them. Now, coming from the industry, I could have called anybody, but I called them because they kept showing up. Did it happen overnight? No. But they kept showing up in the mailbox. Repetitive behavior, repetitive value, repetitive call to action, repetitive offer, repetitive branding, repetitive name. So when it came time for me to have to hire that plumber, there was only one person that kept coming to my mind and who to call to get the freaking job done. So if you're not doing this in your business, I would suggest that you check this out. We can help you out with this. I'll, that's for my call to action and the offer at the end. But we can help you de develop this strategy with this tactic to target 
homeowners that buy homes within your zip code. Let me say that again. Here's your demographic. Here's your area. This is 33441. Every single month, let's take this. There's about 75, there's 3,600 homes in this, in this is demographic. About 75 homes a month are being sold. So for less than a dollar a day, I'm sorry, a dollar a postage, we can target those 75 people that bought the home specifically with the Welcome Home Program. Hey, welcome to the community. We care about you, we care about your home, and we're here to help. Click this QR code to learn about us. Why the hell would you want to have a QR code on your postcard? I'll show you why. So here's your copy, telling them that you love them and you can help them. Don't make this look like all the other shitty postcards that we see. Oh my God, I could puke. Some of, the, some of these postcards are just all over the place and they look like everything else. Use the zig and zag theory. When everyone else is doing something, do something totally different. Make it all about the homeowner's needs and what problem you can solve for them. That's your copy. That's your message. That's your headline. Make it easy for them to call you with your 1-800 number that's trackable. Make it easy for them to go see your landing page. Why a landing page? Well, here's why. I've got a targeted strategy that I'm using this tactic for for new homeowners that buy homes in 33441 and there were 75 cards that are going out automated on that particular mail out. That's a strategy, right? So these postcards go in and they repeatedly show up every single month. Now this is one month. Then the next month, 33 people come in. So it's 75 plus 33. Then the next month, it's 75 plus 33 plus 25. Then it's 75 plus 33 plus 25 plus 50. Yes, the dollars will add up. Who gives a shit? This is a strategy that you're going to use over time to touch all these people that need your services eventually. And you're doing it and your, and, your, and your competition isn't. I guarantee your competition isn't. So here's back to the story. If I have a QR code on my postcard, it's going to push them to the landing page over here at the blue pages. Here's your pro plan where you have a video, you have an offer. You have an offer here, you have a video here, maybe you have the financing calculator here, and then you have an, a call to action button. If you click and don't, if you don't have a QR code, they're not going to go to your website because ain't nobody going to double www.wehomefixit.com. Nobody's typing that shit in. They're going to scan the QR code. It's going to push them to your pro plan landing page, which they're going to click the video or they're going to fill out a form and it goes to you. Or maybe they need financing and they apply for financing. Or maybe they look at your past jobs through Company Cam or all your jobs in the neighborhood that you've done through Project Map. Or maybe it's a roof quote with Roofall. Or maybe it's a roof estimator with Roofer. Whatever is on your pro plan will help them take action to connect with you. Yes, you can push this QR code to your www. However, if your website is not set up for a call to action, for them to do something with copy and a video and things to do, the offer, the roof quote, the roof estimator, virtual proposal, automated financing to $100,000 in 15 seconds with one click, Look at our company cam showcase gallery jobs that we've done from start to finish in the local market. Your reviews and testimonials through Pro Review. Your project map to show the jobs that you've completed. If your landing page isn't set up to help them connect, convert, and close. If your website doesn't have this on it, they might just browse and leave. It might be too much for them to take. That's why we prefer that you send this particular postcard, your Welcome Home Program postcard, directly to your landing page. Okay? All right, I think you got the gist. This is the strategy. This is, I, everyone, I need leads. I need leads right now. My guys need leads right now. And I don't know. I don't know if this is an overnight success. However, if you're looking to be in business for years and not just six months, you might want to add the strategy to your business and then use these tactics within the strategy for success. So here's the call to action. If you are interested in the Welcome Home program, we can help you out with that. We can develop this. 
and have it targeted to people that buy new homes monthly and then automate the postcards. Very easy, like clockwork. It's trackable. We can get to the 800 number on your cards. We can get the landing page with a QR code that's your particular custom. And then we can obviously help you build your pro plan page out with your call to actions and your offers to help convert these people. The offer is pretty simple. Get in touch with me for a strategy session so I can explain how this works. It ain't expensive. It isn't expensive at all. I mean, just think, I don't know, who cares? If you send out 70 cards in a month, that's all, let's just round everything. It's 75 bucks. And your pro plan is less than $1,000 a year. So let's call it $83 a month to run your, your landing page. One job, <laughs> one job, I don't know what your, mar your margins are, covers this whole entire thing probably for the whole year with your 25 to 33% markups that everybody has. So don't think that this is expensive. Think about this as an overall strategy that you have to have within your marketing plan to your marketplace. But do something that your competition isn't doing. A lot of people aren't doing this. The smart ones are. So if this interests you, get in touch with me. We'll help build you out the Welcome Home program with your custom landing page over here on the blue pages. And then we'll talk about all of our partners that can integrate the tools on the pro plan for you and get this thing rolling. So I hope that you found this interesting. Thanks for checking this video out. Have an unbelievable week. Everyone's back to, back to reality today, right? That was a long Thanksgiving holiday week last week. Holy cow, but I love what I do. So I was super pumped to get up at 4.30 this morning and get things going. So, all right, enough for me talking. I've obviously had too much coffee. We'll talk to you soon. And thank you for checking this out with us.